In the last video I did, I showed the reshaping of the FG085 front panel in order that it would fit into a case. And I was left with a gaping hole at this end because it, DDS is only this big. Looks pretty classy, right? What I did, if you remember, there was a, a back plate, FG085, made out of the same material, same texture as the front plate. So I took a piece of the back plate and cut it. In my case, it ended up being an inch and a half and slid it in next to the generator. Put the case together, and here we have it. The other thing I mentioned the last time was the fact that I wanted to gain some use out of this space and volume since the digital generator takes up less than an inch. So what I've done, I've got two 12 volt 2 amp power supplies that I'm going to mount here. And I've taken apart with the digital generator and I'll pop it down here. Now what I'll do is I'll, as before, I'll glue these things in place with urethane caulk. As you can see, I've set the two power supplies down on these little pads meant for screw holes. And I covered each one of them with silicone. And uh, tomorrow I'll come back and these two power supplies will be firmly held in place. I did remove the standoffs on the back of the DDS and while they didn't do it yet, remember you've taken the front panel off, make sure you re-solder the BNC connector. Now these enclosures are from Jameco. The Jameco part number is 18869 and the manufacturer's part number is listed as an H2505-R. See, so we have the Jameco part number at the bottom and the manufacturer's part number over here. Now, this is the, what the enclosure looks like from Jameco. There are no other numbers I can find on it. And the sticker merely has the Jameco 18869 number. Although I'm sure this case is generically made somewhere in Asia. These power supplies are now firmly in place. Bonded with that white goopy stuff. I've taken what used to be a wall wart. I've removed the original connector for AC. Put a white and black tail on it. And now I intend to glue it down over here. And this will be the power supply for the DDS. This will be two other 12 volt supplies. Here's the project almost complete. I've got the two 12 volt power supplies, a 12 volt, what used to be a wall, wall wart. I kept the uh, filter, glued it down with the white stuff. I have soldered a wire to power the DDS. And I made this little board
which has uh, a couple of binding posts, sets, uh, LED to tell when it's on. The switch mounts from behind, so I haven't mounted it yet. And these are all at three quarter inch centers. So if I plug a jack in here and here, I'll get 12 volts up to two amps. If I put a jumper between this one and this one, and plug into here, I'll get 24 volts to two amps. And that little that little block fills the space that the mini DDS didn't occupy. I have to finish wiring between these jacks and the 12 volt power supplies. I've already wired the power switch which as I said mounts from behind. So I'll show you the finished product in the next views. Well it's all done. The mini DDS is enclosed. Two 12 volt 2 amp power supplies are built and installed. Pilot light comes on. It's a maintain switch and the DDS is booting up. Now I can leave the DDS turned on and power it down and the LED and the DDS die. And we turn the power back on. A little bit crowded over here. I can turn the switch off pretty easily. I turn it on, I have to dig, get in between the banana jack. So the purpose of this series of videos was to show you how to enclose this generator, which was reviewed in, I think, Electronics Trivia 16. And then it, it was not my intent to show, how to show you how to build a power supply. But there's an awful lot of empty room back here and height. So use your imagination as to what you can put back there. Now, I can't really put a frequency generator or anything that requires a meter because this certainly is actually an inch and a half wide. So it seemed like power supply was a good idea. So if you like this kind of stuff, Please uh, give me a thumbs up, uh, leave me a message, or if you really like it, subscribe to my site. Thank you for watching.